Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am very happy because this is my first YouTube video and it's quite an informative one. So I hope you guys like it. So let's start the video. So let me tell you about myself a little, right? I am a BSc Honours Biotechnology student. I am currently in third year. I have recently given my four semester exams and my summer vacations are going on. So for the completion of this degree of um, BSc Honours Biotechnology, right, we have to do a one month or you could say three to four weeks hands-on training course and we need to get a um, certificate and write a report and submit it uh, to the teachers, to your department uh, for the completion of this course. So it's a necessary um, requirement for the completion of the course and everyone has to do it. And you should have a certificate to prove your or justify your internship, right? And I am doing my internship at Forest Research Institute, uh, Dharadun, Uttarakhand. Um, it's a very renowned institute. Um, it has a beautiful, big, massive building, uh, great architecture, mirror architecture, right? And um, a lot of movies have been shot there, like um, Student of the Year and uh, Two Stays and many songs have also been shot there. So yeah, it is quite famous and it's a tourist attraction um, in Dharadun and a lot of tourists come daily uh, to visit there. Also if you want to ever, um, and it also has a university, right? Uh, FRIDU, that is Forest Research Institute, uh, deemed to be university. And you can, if you are interested to know about like what courses are there, so let me tell you there are no BSc courses. Only MSc and PhD courses are um, available in FRID. Uh, also, let me tell you a fact that it was the first um, research institute in India completely based on forests. And it has a lot of beautiful museums. And you should must visit it once, right? Um, okay, uh, let's start with uh, the main topic about like internships in FRIDU. Uh, and I have few questions written over there that I would like to answer. I, but these are the common questions you might be having. And if you have other questions, you might ask me in the comment section, right? So, um, first of all, FRI, FRI stands for Forest Research Institute. It is in the Heradun, Uttarakhand. And now, internships, yeah. If you are uh, trying to get internships uh, for one month, two months, and six months, you can... Uh, and even uh, MSc uh, dissertations jo hoti hai, na, you can do it at FRI and uh, the, for every duration like one month, two months or six months training is available over there and the fee for them is like um, for one month I guess uh, I have paid for one month uh, 10,000 a total of 12,000, 2,000 was the security money so in the end of the course, I will be getting it back. So it's 10,000 for one month, 15,000 I guess it is for uh, two months and I don't know about six months because I'm not sure, uh, maybe 35, 40, I don't remember it clearly, okay, sorry. Uh, hmm. Also, you do get a certificate when you do a training from FRI, right? So we have discussed the fee, duration and if we get certificate, yes, we do get certificates and internships i am i shall repeat that internships can be from for one month two months and six months so the next question is when to apply for the internship right so um let me tell you there's a lot of competition in uh, uh, for getting internships at fri day you have to submit your application uh, i tell you what uh, documents i have submitted for the same uh, they asked me for a letter, letter of application that you want to do internship or your um, whatsoever dissertation you know, from FRI, DU. And then I gave my CV. You have to give your um, curriculum vitae or bio data, right? Then you have to submit your 10th and 12th class mark sheets. And also I guess uh, they asked me for my last semester marks. Yeah. So these were four to five documents that I emailed them, emailed to the registrar, uh, registrar um, at FRIDU, and uh, then there's a like it takes one week to um, to tell you, you know, uh, matlab, like it takes only one week to completely tell you or inform you by them that if your mail has been accepted or not, and there a lot of um, applications do get rejected 
and this is serious because I have met someone uh, they have applied but they didn't get the seat also let me tell you I was very lucky to like get this internship uh, just one week before because my CV was a bit strong not not a lot much strong but yeah it was a bit strong and I was lucky enough to get the uh, get the admission there earlier I was trying for tag gym that is also in Theradun but uh, when I visited there in person I didn't like it much so I tried to switch things and luckily things worked out for me but it not might happen for every one of you out there right um, so yeah uh, now I have uh, told you when to apply like before May please apply <laughs> and how to apply you just need to call them right call them at the landlines ask them about the recent uh, what are the internships going or like uh -huh. also there are only um, there's one field of biotechnology and microbiology they have also ask them about um, and in biotechnology basically they have plant biotech and it's a, a very famous field they're working and also they are working on trees like bamboo teak uh, teak uh, neem and uh, romania like i don't remember the name but yeah the uh, there are many forest trees that they're working on uh, also they work on shrubs and herbs well, whatever you find in the forest they are working on those uh, the multiplication the uh, genetic modification so yeah, uh, it's a very good exposure for if you are very much interested in plant biotechnology. Uh, because I'm doing it in plant biotech, uh, so I don't know about microbiology much, but you can call them and ask them. Also, you uh, I submitted my money in the form of a DD, right? I tell you what I did in the procedure. I called them, I sent them that email. In a one week, I got accepted. Uh, my application got accepted. Uh, then I visited, you don't need to visit, they email you that uh, uh, confirmation app, uh, letter uh, but I visited because I was living here in Dehradun at that time so I uh, visited FRI, I submitted a DD demand draft of 12,000 rupees uh, I got um, um, fee receipt that I need to keep because it will provide me my security money back and this was the whole procedure application procedure then the next day i went to fri i joined it i submitted my application that's it so if you want to apply for internships um, at fri du make sure you are applying it from january itself and uh, yeah from january itself uh, and please uh, for the last like matlab aap try kar sakte ho ke end tak aap but uh, start doing it from January because when I called them and asked them will I be able to get an um, internship over there do they have internships they do have an, they told me they do have internships but they don't have uh, as much seats uh, to serve everyone right and there's a lot of competition and applications do get rejected uh, so yeah and they said me this you are applying at the last moment at the very last moment you might not get accepted and there's a very high chance that you won't get a seat so we are not sure and we will reply to you uh, in a week uh, but luckily i got internship i was quite lucky uh, yeah yeah but do it matlab, like from january to mid april just do it fill it and just uh, email it right and how to apply you just need to call at the number uh, that you can easily get from the website and if they do, now there are only uh, three to four landline numbers they might not pick it up in one go don't lose your hopes try it uh, again and again like keep on trying because they do respond to those uh, landline at those landline numbers so don't lose your hope try again disturb them and then ask them and they'll tell you where to send those emails etc etc now the last question what is my honest review of FRIDU's internship in plant biotechnology department uh, I am working in under the genetics and tree improvement department under in the field of bio, plant biotech right uh, so yeah we culture plants we propagate them and we subculture them like this the, this is the thing we do and if i have to tell my honest experience so the experience is quite good 
everyone is friendly like there's a hierarchy that works in the lab like the senior scientist uh, is the head right and then we have the phd uh, students then we have the uh, some people are there who are over working over a project uh, and they do get stipends so they are the people on the second level then we have the msc in uh, dissertation students who are doing six months internship then we have um, us and the, there's no one of bsc over there i am the only one who is there of bsc hmm. and also uh, people from uh, uh, bsc botany zoology also come over there to do their internships so yeah so because i have a scientist uh, in the same room um, the uh, other interns and the PhD students and the people who are there for a for the completion of a project from different states. The um, environment is um, quite diverse and a lot of experience and um, knowledge comes from all of them. So I will say the um, environment is quite good. People are helpful, very supportive, and you don't even get scolded when you to make mistakes. They appreciate you working and they help you to improve. Huh, but they do sometimes tell you uh, to clean their glasswares and do a lot of things that they don't want to do. <laughs> but, 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 um, I would say you have paid for it. You should have the experience. You should learn it. Take it as a learning and not a burden, right? Um, yeah, you, they tell you like um, from washing to the day you will be doing washing and to the day that you will be sitting in the culture room ob observing your uh, cultures growing like the plants growing you will be seeing those growth that's those calluses or those mini mini um you know um, these stipules etc etc so yeah so the experience is quite good and you're paying for it so you should learn each and everything with detail ask them questions uh, feed your curiosity and do as much hard work as you can also uh, i forgot one important point that i want to tell you they don't provide any hostels if you are from another state you have to live in pgs but it's worth it i would say it has a beautiful beautiful campus and if you are doing internship in summer a few days you might feel um, it's hot but it's not that much hot because there are a lot of forests so the trees always provide you shade um, and in the summers monsoon comes in the Eradun and uh, the and the view of the place is beautiful. I'll be making more videos for FRA Theradun. Maybe a blog of my day there and quite a few other uh, videos. You can comment down if you want to see what you want to see, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll be make more videos on that. So I must take a leave now. I hope you guys like the video. Thank you for watching till now. Make sure you subscribe uh, because a lot of stuff will come over here about FRI also and also about uh, many other things. Mm -hmm. So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please make do share, like and subscribe and comment down. If you have any questions and all query, I will surely respond to it. Thank you. Bye-bye.